Hello beautiful people, welcome back. Control is the name of the game. The everyday man at some point realizes it's important for them to take control of their socioeconomic circumstance so they begin to create businesses. Unbeknownst to them, that realm they are stepping in in an attempt to take control of their socioeconomic situation is also being controlled by someone else. That someone else sees that same perspective that you have control from a very, very different, different ground. They are looking at things from a bird's eye view. Fiefdom. Fiefdom is a system of slavery where someone owes someone else who simply intends to control. A five. Fiefdom was a central element in medieval contracts based on feudal law. It consists of a form of property holding or other rights granted by an overlord to a vassal. Vassal is just another way of saying a slave. You have a vassal state, vassal city, or vassal in the form of an individual. Overlord is, well, the exact way it sounds. Someone who plays lord over another party, an overseer, who held it in fealty or in fee, in return for a form of feudal allegiance. Basically, you do this for me and I give you this. This thing that I'm going to give you, contingent upon what you do, is supposedly yours, but I'm not going to give it to you until you do this for me. As for fealty is, services and other payments. The fees were often lands, land revenue, or revenue producing real property like a water mill had in feudal land tenure. Feudal land tenure is what they were called a situation where the king has something called a lodial title and everyone else rents that allodial title from the king or queen or the monarch in form of property taxes which still occurs till today called land revenue or revenue producing real property in place of water mill it's now just a place of a boat so this same system of five fiefdom serfdom slavery exists in a world of pen and paper whereby the everyday man who is attempting to take control of your lives, just going about their daily affairs, or basically seeking liberties in pursuit of happiness. They realize, oh, so the system works this way. Let me create an LLC. Let me build business credit. Let me do this. Let me do that. Wow, that everyday man is doing that. Someone else who comprehends control on a huge level is using a five them system to take control of those everyday man and woman attempting to take control of their own lives. The Corporate Transparency Act is one of those. The Corporate Transparency Act, preparing for the federal database of beneficial owner information. According to the American Bar Association, who better else to tell you this because attorneys are the ones who Secretary of State and LLCs are done on the Secretary of State of a state level. Now they're using a corporation doctrine to match whatever you're doing, in your affairs in a state level, with that of federal. In other words, someone else is going to have their hands in your affairs as a form of control. By the time we're done with this video, you see the reason why I have been constantly, over the past six or seven months or so, I've been making a lot of videos in 508 entities compared to LLCs. I've been showing you, look, you can do this with 508. Use 508, use 508. By the end of this video, you will see the reason why I'm going over 508 ever so often. And I have made videos showing you the comparison of LLCs and 508, not based on my own conjecture, but based on foundational principles that's preserved in black and white, the case laws to it, and the basic, basic concepts behind it, and why it works, how it works. This video is not a suggestion you should do one thing or the other, but just know options exist for you. Options exist for you to choose what entity you want to use because at the end of the day, if you are still sharecropping the interest of your entity with someone else, you don't own it. And because you don't own it under the five them or surf them system, someone else will always have a greater control over it. Someone has a greater control over that person called the LLC, S Corp or C Corp, which by the way, I presume we all know that LLCs, C Corp and S Corps, aka this database is not just for cutesies. They, they're telling you. 
because now you pay state taxes and federal taxes for most people. Now federal has a corroboration of that LLC. They have a database of the a database is not just a list of names of entity. Database constitutes name of entity, the owners, how much they make, so and so. They will corroborate information. That's the purpose of database to be able to corroborate information so that you can effectively filter it to take out very particular information you need to use under any given circumstance. And in their case, they use it as a case study as to how they can dig deeper into your pockets. They're not lying to you. They're giving it to you that they're... A W-2 employee, for instance, can take up to a maximum of 10 deductions. As an entrepreneur, on the other hand, you can take up to 1,400 separate deductions. Think about that for a moment. 7,000 plus pages of the IRS codes are dedicated deliberately to business deductions. And about 40 pages of tax code tell you what qualifies. The other 7,000 plus pages tells you how not to qualify for what the 40 pages told you. And within all those pages, 1,400 separate deductions are for entrepreneurs. 10 for regular W-2 employees. Just as those W-2 employees are so limited and they don't even realize that. And they go by their daily business in the Western world. People who call themselves entrepreneurs don't even know that, let alone the fact that there are other hierarchies of doing business. To be able to, one, be free from scrutinies like these. And two, have you ever seen a farm whereby the shepherd Hurts the sheep to a one little tiny spot and they all just stand waiting for that opportunity to go into that one little small hole in the gate or cows or chickens. That's what they're doing to people. What they're doing is so sophisticated on pen and paper. It just goes over people's head. And then they have a lot of similar verbiage in all states. Subsection 15, the military shall be in strict subordination to civil power. But if the people aka the civilian don't know their power and don't even know the intricacies as to why they're being told okay now you do this now now jump up a hill now put your hands in the fire if they don't even know why or that that's what they're doing they'll be long dead and gone and burnt to crisp and broken into pieces before they start to realize wait something is going on here and here we are the corporate transparency act people think it's just today you can be a millionaire and you still be a slave. You can be a millionaire and you can still be poor. That's how deep the game is. This is the cost of being incompetent in today's world. This is the cost of being a slave in 21st century. You would always submit to someone else. Tort pieces make their move in a chessboard. At some point, they're going to put you in check. What are you going to do? To prevent checkmate. The complete 40 minute videos posted on the patient page. Best of luck.